Hello, friends. I'm Dana Bristol Smith with Leap to Success. And it is my pleasure to have you join us here today for self care in stressful times. And I want to um, introduce Yogi. And Yogi is a, a wonderful companion. And our topic today is calming anxiety. And I can think of nothing better than having Yogi on my lap to help calm anxiety and help relieve stress. And I hope that you have a Yogi or uh, some sort of emotional support around you um, during these really stressful times. Um, let me tell you a little bit about Leap to Success, and then I'm going to introduce my co-host uh, to the show. So Leap to Success is a nonprofit women's empowerment organization that's based in Carlsbad, California. And our mission is to educate and empower women who are rebuilding their lives from domestic violence, homelessness, and other major life challenges. I wanna take a moment and just thank all of our donors and supporters who make our work possible here in San Diego County. And I want to tell you that over the last 10 weeks, this is now episode 11, um, we have reached more people than we ever have before through this uh, series, Self-Care in Stressful Times. So our donors and our supporters are allowing us to make this possible um, at no cost to as many people as we can possibly reach. So please share it with friends, share it with colleagues and coworkers. Um, and help people relieve the stress and the anxiety that they feel during this pandemic and during this time of uncertainty. I'd like to now introduce my co-host, Kelly Grimes, and Kelly will say hello. Hi, thank you so much, Dana. Oh, I'm so grateful to be here with you for another episode. What a blessing it is to just pause and take some time to come home to ourselves so that we can really be grounded um, in these continually stressful and uncertain times. So thank you for prioritizing yourself and I look forward to teaching you a really powerful tool to calm your anxiety today. Thank you, Kelly. And now I'd like to introduce Alyssa, who's providing our technical support, and she'll have some brief instructions for you. Here is Alyssa. Hi, everyone. Super glad that you're here with us today. Um, as Dana mentioned, I'm going to give you some technical instructions. We will be having some questions throughout this webinar that you can choose to answer and interact with if you wish. Um, if you would like the other attendees on the webinar to be able to see your answers, if you want to interact with them as well, make sure before you send your answer that you change your setting to all panelists and attendees. Otherwise, only Dana and I and Kelly will be able to see your answers. And we um, also have a whole collection of this self-care series on our YouTube channel, as well as our website. We've compiled it into a library for you. So I will be posting those in the chat. That's great. Thank you so much, Alyssa. Uh, now, my friends, the format of each of these episodes is to give you a moment to recenter, a moment to just catch your breath in what I'm sure is a busy and stressful day. I know that many of the people that are watching these episodes are healthcare providers and people who are working with people around mental health, uh, working with domestic violence survivors, we, working with people who are struggling with homelessness. And what I know is that you all are very empathetic people. You are in the profession that you're in because you care and because you wanna help. And even if you're someone who doesn't provide that service, but is just part of a family unit, you are a caregiver as well. Um, what I know about most caregivers is they tend to give, give, and give, and often to the point of depletion. So what our hope is, is that these 30 minutes that you're giving yourself today will allow you just a little bit of respite and an opportunity to recharge and an opportunity to put yourself first. 
So I'm going to walk you through a guided meditation, and then I'm going to turn it over to Kelly, who's going to give you a very practical tool specifically designed to uh, help people reduce stress, reduce anxiety, and even reduce pain. But I'm going to get you ready for that now with a guided meditation. So go ahead and get yourself comfortable wherever you're seated and go ahead and take a nice deep breath in. And go ahead and release it. If you're comfortable, go ahead and close your eyes. And if you're not in an environment where you're uh, comfortable enough to do that, at least just soften your gaze downward. And this is going to be a guided visualization. So taking a nice deep breath in. And as you're breathing in, just feel a sense of calm and a sense of peace. So breathing in, feeling calm and peace and breathing out, imagining a release and breathing in calm and breathing out, release. And you might even wanna make a sound as you breathe out. So I'll do that this time as well. So breathing in a sense of calm and breathing out with a sound. And we'll do that one more time. Breathing in a sense of calm and breathing out with release. Very good. Now with your eyes closed, I'd like you to imagine a beautiful place, somewhere that you feel peaceful and somewhere that you feel calm. It <clears throat> could be a favorite place in nature. It might be by the beach, perhaps in the forest, by a stream, whatever that beautiful environment is that you just love, that you feel peace, and that you see beauty all around you. So taking a few nice deep breaths in and out and visualizing this place of beauty and noticing the colors that you see, perhaps the green of tall grass, beautiful vivid colors of flowers, of trees, If it's a place by the beach, noticing how the light reflects off of the ocean. Just taking in and feeling and appreciating the beauty of this favorite place that surrounds you. Next, on your next breath in, you're going to see if there's a scent that you can smell from this favorite place. It might be the cleanliness of the air, perhaps the fragrance of flowers or grass or the saltiness of the sea. But just breathing in deeply and breathing in that fragrance of that favorite place. Just breathing it in and each breath feels like it is cleansing your lungs. Breathing in deep and releasing. What you notice on each breath is that you're able to breathe a little bit deeper and feel a greater sense of ease. 
with each breath. And smelling that familiar fragrance, that fragrance that's bringing calm and bringing peace that you're experiencing right now. On your next breath in, you're going to notice once again the surroundings, that beauty of nature that's all around you, and that sense of peacefulness. And I'd like you to imagine a nice, cool breeze that's like a gentle caress that you feel just so lightly and so peacefully. Beautiful. So in this last couple of breaths in this meditation, just take those deep breaths in, filling your lungs with that sense of beauty, that sense of calm, and that sense of peace. And now take a moment and just wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, feel yourself seated in the chair that you're seated in, and gently go ahead and open your eyes. Thank you for taking a five minute vacation with me. And now I'm gonna turn you over to Kelly, who's gonna share a really powerful technique called the emotional freedom technique to further assist you in feeling more calm, reducing anxiety and reducing stress. Here's Kelly. Thank you so much, Dana. And thank you for that beautiful guided meditation. I felt really blessed because I had my window open and I could hear birds chirping and they were contributing to my sense of just being in a beautiful meadow and a, a safe, beautiful place. So I think that um, so many of the techniques of calming ourselves are really helping ourselves remember that we're okay right here in this moment, uh, especially if we have any experiences of trauma and other things that get re-triggered when we're feeling anxiety and overwhelm. So that was a beautiful way of invoking um, that sense and having an experience in our bodies of, of being in a place, the senses, um, using our senses is such a powerful way of, of calming ourselves and bringing us back um, into this moment. So another wonderful technique, um, one I've been using for over a dozen years, is called EFT, or the Emotional Freedom Technique, also known as tapping. So before I get started and share with you about tapping, I would love to hear how many of you that are joining us for this webinar are familiar with tapping or have actually used it. I would love to hear from you in the chat um, just to have a sense of um, familiarity uh, with it before we begin. I see one person has, that's wonderful. Uh, someone has, but they've never used it. So you're gonna have a wonderful opportunity to do that. Um, others haven't heard of it yet. Um, and so this is gonna be a wonderful, um, just a wonderful opportunity to have an experience of tapping. And then we are gonna guide you to find more resources because um, it is definitely something that you can continue to build on. And there's many, many resources to support you in doing that. So I wanna tell you a little bit um, about tapping. Um, in 1980, there was a man uh, from Carlsbad, California, and he was a psychologist named Roger Callahan. He was working with lots of clients who had trauma and he was trying to figure out some healing techniques. And so he created one called thought field therapy. 
And I actually did that training in the early 90s um, with him, and uh, it used many of the uh, same ideas of EFT or tapping, um, but it was kind of complicated. So it was effective, but it was complicated. So his, uh, he had a student named Gary Craig, and Gary thought, gosh, there's something to this, but we've got to simplify it for people. So he did, and that evolved over time. And then Nick Ortner and his sister, Jessica Ortner, they got really excited about it. And uh, 13 years ago, uh, Nick wrote a book and they opened a, or they started a website called thetappingsolution.com. And since then, they have done tremendous um, offerings all over the world. When something traumatic happens, they and their team will go places like Rwanda when there was civil war, the Sandy Hook shooting. Um, so they've taken it to all these places where people are traumatized to give them this tool to help decrease the trauma and the anxiety and the overwhelm of the feelings. Um, they uh, also do a yearly tapping summit that you can find more information out about. Um, and they have lots of videos, lots and lots of resources. So um, I learned earlier, I fine tuned my learning through them. And now they have an app, which is magnificent and that I use often. And it has many tapping meditations that they walk you through. So I'm going to walk you through the experience and I'm going to share some of the benefits and things so you know whether you want to um, uh, go and dive into it more to see if this is a tool that would be useful for you. So what they did is they um, looked at all of this cutting edge medical research um, that continues to teach us that why emotional stress manifests as psychological and physical damage um, they started getting really clear about that. And also they looked at ancient principles found in Chinese traditional medicine um, used in acupuncture and acupressure. And so what they found, and they've done lots of research, is that the benefits are reduce reduced stress, lower cortisol levels. And cortisol is the hormone that, that um, is emitted when we uh, have a stress response. Um, it improves our sleep, reduces anxiety, relieves pain, it increases productivity, it calms our amygdala um, in the brain, that fight-flight part of the brain, and helps us regulate our nervous system. And in some of the most recent research I found really fascinating is that um, the folks tapping lowered their stress hormone of cortisol by 43%. So we know stress impacts everything, right? It impacts our experience of illness, it ex it, our experience of, of stress and other things in the world. Um, so it's actually this uh, cortisol that's rushing through our bodies um, and other chemicals that actually cause impact to us. And so it's beautiful to have a tool where you can actually decrease some of that. Um, another uh, statistic that I thought was really powerful is that they worked with Vietnam, I'm sorry, with vets from all different um, uh, times where they had combat and had had PTSD and found that 52% of the veterans that they worked with were able to lower their symptoms of PTSD. So um, it is a healing therapy that you can apply yourself. And you know, we love at Leap to Success for people to have tools that they can put into practice right away. So you don't need any training or personnel to do it. You can do it yourself. And um, all you need to have is yourself, um, your emotions, and a willingness to support yourself in managing them. So if you do, I want to invite you right now to take a pause and wash your hands because we are going to be using our hands tapping on our face. So I'm going to invite you right now to use hand sanitizer, uh, to go wash your hands. And while you're doing that, I am going to place up the points we are going to be tapping on. And then I'm going to walk you through it, um, the experience of it. So go do that while I get... Well, I share my screen with you. Okay, so I hope your hands are clean and that you're ready. So any time that we start a tapping experience, we identify a feeling that we're having that feels really overwhelming. 
we're going to use anxiety because this um, episode is all about calming anxiety. So I'm going to walk you through as if anxiety is the thing that you're experiencing today and give you um, an opportunity to feel what this is like. So what we do um, is we want to start from a nurturing place. Everything um, that this tapping is about is it's about really honoring. There's kind of a couple of steps. And the first thing is really honoring where you're at. And, and not trying to make it different, but acknowledge what's there. And so um, we start with a karate chop part of our hand. And we might say something like this. Um, well, let's, before we do that, let's identify how intense it is. Okay, so on a scale from one to 10, how intense is the anxiety that you're experiencing right now? And if you can write it down, that's helpful. Because what we do is after we do the tapping process, we check into it again. And we see if we've had any um, decrease in the symptoms. And then if we've had some decrease, we start to feel more empowered. And then we can do it again um, if it's still higher than we wish to. So on a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being really intense and overwhelming, 1 being you know manageable, how intense is your anxiety in this moment? So we have some people sharing about a four, and that is that is really helpful. So um, I am going to now um, walk you through it. So on this karate chop part of our hand, I'm going to say, even though I feel anxiety, I love and care about myself unconditionally. Now sometimes that's hard to say. Maybe we're not in that place. So maybe we would say. Even though I feel so much anxiety, I honor my feelings. Even though I have tremendous amount of anxiety, I love myself and invite myself to calm the anxious feelings. So it's something, it's just honoring and it's starting at this point where we're tapping and we're just honoring how we're feeling right now. Okay, then we move on and we go through the points. And the points start right here on the inside and you can follow along on the image that I shared, but the points are on the inner part of the eye and you just start tapping and talking about your experience. So you can say, you know, um, I'm feeling so much anxiety and you're tapping, you know, uh, I wouldn't say super hard, you know, kind of gently with your fingers and tapping on both sides. Um, the next point is on the side of the eye. Um, so much going on in the world. And you're just talking out however it is you're feeling, right? So this is how I'm feeling right now. Um, so much pain and suffering I see in people in the world. And you're just talking out. Now we're at a Point underneath the eyes, you're just talking out what your experience is. You can talk how you feel about where you're holding the this anxiety in your body. You know, so much tightness in my chest. Now we're under the nose tapping. So much stress and sadness. Now we're under the chin. And I would say tap like maybe five to six times as you say this. Then the next is our collarbone. And our collarbone, you, you just keep saying, you know, feeling so much anxiety that there's so much hurt in the world. So now we're on our collarbones. And then the next thing is we're tapping with our fingers underneath our arms. And if you can't get under, you could do one side instead, right? You don't have to have them both, not a problem. Um, but if you can do both, um, tapping and just continue with what you're feeling. Um, feeling so many things out of control. And you might, then you go to the top of your head and keep going. Feeling that the world is out of control on top of your head. And then you can keep going through the points. If you continue to feel this intensity of emotion, you can keep going through the points until you feel like something has shifted, right? Until you start to feel like your anxiety is decreasing. 
And I definitely, I, I tap almost daily and I definitely have a, a sense as I'm doing it like, okay, something shifted. And then I go back through the points and say, but I know all of this anxiety is not serving me. So I choose to let this anxiety go. So I'm going through the same points, but now the first time I was just honoring, I wasn't tapping in or anchoring those negative feelings. I was just simply honoring them. Now, as I go through tapping, I am giving myself permission to let it go. I've honored it, now I'm ready to let it go. I give myself permission to release the intensity of this anxiety. And I might just go through those points and, and remind myself of that. I let that go, okay? So that's like the third step. If you consider the first step, tapping on the side of your hand, saying, even though I feel anxious, I love and approve of myself unconditionally, or I honor how I feel, whatever it is that you can say, then going through the tapping points about how you feel in that moment, how you're feeling in your body, et cetera. Um, and then uh, um, you go back through and um, tap through letting, letting things go. Now you get to tap in, you get to tap in a feeling. Um, so I'm going to stop sharing my screen and I am going to, let's see, did I stop sharing my screen? I hope I did. Okay. So now you get to tap in how you want to feel. And what's really powerful about that is that you can choose an affirmation and we've taught affirmations. You can choose an affirmation that would feel really good. So I am going to tap in. I would say, I feel grounded and calm. And I'm just going to go through the points again. I am empowered and I am grounded. I am strong and I'm resilient. So the fourth phase is that you tap in how you want to feel. So it's a beautiful practice of honoring how you are, releasing it, tapping in a really positive, empowering statement, and Louise Hay, who created or was really um, brought uh, affirmations um, to the forefront, um, she loved tapping and worked very closely with Nick Ortner and shared, and you'll find on the app if you, if you look into it, that there's lots of different um, affirmations that they put in there. So once you've done that, check in with how you feel now. Check in from a, from a scale of one to 10. How do you feel? One being that it's not as intense, 10 being it's super intense. And if you notice that something's gone down, then you know this could be a really supportive and helpful tool for you. So if anybody wants to share, if they notice, it looks like um, one person said she's at a two now, very much improved. That's really exciting. I want to remind you that there are so many resources. So you can look at the app. There is all of these free resources, particularly around the coronavirus and anxiety. There's resources for healthcare workers. There's resources for children. It's so awesome. So you could tap with your children. Someone else said that they appreciated the way I explained it and can use it. They felt a seven to begin with, and now they're at a four. Awesome. And the whole thing is, right, we know when we have a anxiety uh, response to things that it could take time. So I see somebody else still feels anxious. You're not alone. There's so much going on in the world right now. And again, this is a tool. And it's a tool you can use over and over again, just like the mindfulness practices that we've been teaching all along. And it's really important to continue to be in a practice of it and, and to keep exploring. Um, what I found is that when I tap, I am much more grounded and I can see a difference, so I feel empowered. And oftentimes when we're anxious, we feel out of control. So if there's something that you can do for yourself, it's a gift to yourself and it's a gift to the world because you're going to come out back to the work that you do and be able to be a center and a grounded uh, person um, amidst all of the chaos and things happening. So thank you so much. I'm so grateful for you. I hope you will look into thetappingsolution.com 
for tons of different resources for you. Check into the app. It's a free app. Um, you can upgrade for things, but you don't need to. And um, I'm going to hand it back to Dana. But until we gather again, I'm so grateful that you show up for yourselves and you continue to find ways um, to find calm in these times of anxiety. Thank you so much. Well, thank you so much, Kelly. That that was great. And I'm going to ask Alyssa to go ahead and start my video. Oops. Okay. So hopefully you can see me and you can hear me now. Um, Kelly, that, that was wonderful. And I wasn't familiar with tapping until recently. Um, and I had been dealing with a, um, a muscle injury that was going on for months. And I started using tapping to help relieve the pain. And what I noticed is that it didn't relieve it right away, but an hour later or two hours later, I just felt, um, I felt better. The pain had lessened and I felt less stress around it. So it, it really is effective and it's a great resource. I wanted to mention, so I've also um, downloaded it and I have it on my phone here. And I wanted to mention some of the um, tapping meditations that are geared specifically around coronavirus. And Kelly, thank you, you mentioned a few of them. But I did want to share that there is one that's in Spanish, which I think is wonderful. There's one called um, Before a Shift for Healthcare Workers. There's another called Letting Go of the Day for Healthcare Providers. There um, are one specifically for teachers. There's another one called Coronavirus Stress Financial Uncertainty. I know that a lot of people are experiencing financial uncertainty right now and that just brings up a whole lot of stress. So these are targeted um, just as Kelly spoke about anxiety and the feelings that she was feeling around that anxiety and the feelings that she wanted to be feeling those affirmations. These meditations on here will walk you through um, whatever the topic is and it's really a well done app. I'm, um, I'm very impressed by it and it's incredibly helpful. So do go ahead and check it out um, as long as you have a smartphone and you can also check it out online at the tappingsolution.com. So I'm very glad that we could share this helpful tool with you today that you took these 30 minutes for yourself to come back home to yourself, to give yourself some respite um, in the midst of the uncertainty that we're feeling. So thank you once again for joining us. Do go take a look at our leaptosuccess.org website where we have a library of these self-care episodes. Join us again on Thursday, if you'd like, on our YouTube channel or Facebook for a peaceful pause, which is a 10 minute, a small bite-sized segment of a guided meditation and beautiful heart music by Marsha Jen to give you that respite. And finally, I wanna thank our donors and supporters that are making these sessions possible. And they are making our continued operation so that we can support our community of Leap to Success graduates who are women that are rebuilding their lives from domestic violence and homelessness and other major challenges. Um, we appreciate you all so much. So have a good week and we look forward to seeing you again next Tuesday. Bye-bye.